so hello all and uh, welcome to the part 7 in this particular part we'll see three major areas which are there in any video 2017 one is assisted setup uh, one is there is a cool feature of embedding help for your uh, help our customers within dynamics nav using videos assisted setup and uh, tools and then there is uh, something which was partially released in 2016 but it has been enhanced like anything in 2017 which is emailing document from dynamic snap without using any customization and with you know with the body and everything there are certain add-ons for these but now everything is within nav and user at at his level can customize what the body of the email will contain so how cool is that let's have a look on all these starting with the assisted setup let's open our dynamic snap client navigate to assisted setup search for it it's there in administration application setup and journal open assisted setup now assisted setup is something which uh, uh, let user set up the system very easily when they are new to the system let's say you are implementing dynamic snap for a customer which is uh, which have never used a ERP solution so how he can uh, navigate uh, from the menus and set the system very easily now the list to those who know NAV seems a bit small but now that's us as a partner is an opportunity to add more assisted setup pages over here which makes life easier for our customers right so like just to show you an example there's a setup for customer approval so a customer want that they want to set up approvals so no need of partners to set it up they can set it up by their own they can set up who is the approver uh, do they want user to set it manually or when a certain change on the field happens on the customer field right they can select the approval then once they move to the next stage as they selected that it should happen on a field change so on which field change they can decide over here let's say the budget amount will not change sorry but let's say someone changes customer posting group is changed and then you know, what message do you want to show it to, uh, to the user who changed it and then you say next and finish as you say finish it is setting up and it would have set up the workflow for customer as you can see it's complete so let's go to the workflows and see what all workflows has been enabled so with this as you can see I had set up earlier something but yeah customer change approval is there and without you know without knowing how I set it up and all those things everything in terms of event what condition and what type of responses has been set up so that's how assisted setup help a customer and as a partner we have an opportunity to develop more assisted setup pages these wizard type of pages and the best part is these wizard type pages works with windows client also so you can set up as many pages as you want based on what you think is important to set up a new system and then customer can set up their system by their own so they don't need as as a uh, help or uh, it also helped to the consultant because uh, during rush during implementation we sometimes forgot what to set up and what we missed so that also act as a checklist that what you have done and what you have missed now moving to the next point which is embedding help and this is I personally like about it as there's something called as help within nav so if you go to the application setup journal you'll see setup and help resources under administration once you open it it shows you a overview of on which area you want to add help to so let's think of a scenario that you want to add helps and uh, help for the areas sales purchase manufacturing warehouse and you had some great content on the web right now we, we all know there are so good content on the web on YouTube uh, but the content is scattered some of the video explain very good sales some videos explains very good purchase some you know 
so the content is scattered and you cannot at the end of the day you cannot give your customer a excel file which 10,000 link which they can visit whenever it required how about if you can set up all this and then group it within nav and whenever customer faces an issue can always go back and check it so this is what we can do with this so let's say uh, there's something called as get started with financials uh, which is already set up there uh, on the demo database user can click view and then there is a set of options that he gets now the best part is the everything is set up here is it a help is it a video is it assisted setup or is it a product tour i haven't checked all but i tried with videos and uh, assisted setup and they are working very fine so user can view without leaving nav a small tutorial about how this particular thing is set up or how it is configured and how it is how it works right and then the content which is available on the web uh, which is scattered right now as i was saying we can actually organize it for our users so that they can uh, view it whenever they need and at the end of the day we can always group them as microsoft did in the demo product right so at the back end as i said set up videos help product tour all lies in the same tables or pages if you say so which is set up and help resources if you want to learn how extensions works and they can they can always look into it and we can extend this list and using rapid start we can make it uh, as a package and import it whenever we need right for our customers so that is something which i actually loved about the product that that can be done coming to the today's last point last but not least this is actually one more thing which is required uh, by so many customer and we as a partner used to customize it like anything for this so let's say uh, customer need uh, to send an uh, sales order confirmation or sales code confirmation to their to their customers and uh, so what we used to do till 2016 or i would say if it is sales then only till 2015 those who missed it um, no, we can discuss it later but yeah um, so let's say this is a customer whose sales order is ready and you want to inform that customer so if you navigate to the actions tab there is a new action added which is email confirmation now what it does is when you click on it it is at the background it's running the report which is assigned to the sales order document saving it as a pdf and then appending a body to the email so like you see this is the body of the email which is which is system generated this is a pdf which is already attached you have an option that you can type custom email you also have an option to edit the email on outlook not doing not sending it automatically if the customer has email id defined on the customer card it will pick it from there otherwise you can specify it here you want to add cc bcc addresses everything can be done here if you want to change it on outlook just uh, you know user need to check this and the email get open in outlook but let's say i want to send it from here so the system is trying to uh, send the email if smtp setup is allow to send to that email address and it is set up correctly the email should go and we'll see it in a while but let's see how it is has been designed is it only for sales orders or it's not there for sales invoice or is it for everything and i received an email so that's something else we'll see so if you see it's everywhere it's on all the all the reports or all the documents where we can define reports on report selections so if there is a document which is defined on report selection there's a new option added let's have a look on that and then we'll see what the system replied to us so what microsoft did is on report selection there's something called as one new field add is added as email body layout description now email body layout description is actually a world report or world layout designed for this particular report 
of a 131304 report and there are there can be n number of word layout that a customer can develop for his report which is coming from a partner or maybe a standard report from Microsoft so like this in this you can see there are these many layouts for custom report layouts which are word layout for this particular report so when we click on email confirmation the selected word layout is being executed at the background and then it is added as an uh, body of the email on the email which is being generated from the system now what all you can customize in word layout it's everything whatever the fields are there on your uh, data set they can be part of your word layout if you want to add some specific field to, to your world layout you just need to add them into report and then use it on your world layout so now it's not for order or it's not for you know something else it applies to every report which you have and you can add more reports and you can add the layout uh, after developing them on those reports right so let's have a look on the purchase one do they have something for purchases yes so also for the purchases there are multiple layout which are there in the system from Microsoft we can always add them we can add more layouts to it and as in we as a partner or customer can develop the world layouts right so that's how that email things work uh, so let's have a look what the email we received okay so this is the email which I received from the system which is uh, order confirmation uh, the, the email which you are seeing over there right at the same time there's an attachment let's open this attachment like you know look very nice neat and clean the world layer the world the report selection that was added over there is running and the PDF is being attached so all these are now part of a standard half solution we don't need to customize this there might be a customization which being talked about in most of the forums if you if you are reading it that can be automated and uh, automate this feature or not I haven't tested it but uh, I have a thought because I looked into this feature in 2016 that yes we can automate it at certain level but at the at the end of the day we need to have some predefined things uh, or some system checks as mandatory like there should be a two email ID or the customer email ID defined on the customer card and then how it works so let's see um, what you bring out of this particular video let me know your views what you think especially about embedded help and email document from nav I'd be happy to hear and I would like to discuss these features with as many people as I can I actually love these two features which are there in any 2017 so Put your comments, drop me an email. My email ID is on YouTube channel or you can contact me on from my contact us form on my blog. I'll you know I'll be happy to hear from all of you. So thank you for your time. See you next time.